You need to watch this if you struggle with online trolls. The digital age has brought us closer together, allowing us to share our lives and experiences with a global audience. However, it has also given rise to a darker phenomenon, online trolling. Recently, Taylor Swift found herself at the center of such negativity when trolls compared her to her boyfriend's ex because of her body. This incident, while distressing, highlights a deeper truth about the nature of online attack. They are often a cry for love and understanding. How can we make sense of an evil attack? How can it not affect us? How do I avoid from spiraling out of control from criticism? What should Taylor do? The Incident Taylor Swift and the Trolls Taylor Swift, a global pop icon, has often been the target of online criticism and body shaming. The latest wave of negativity emerged when some internet users began comparing her body to her boyfriend's former partner. Memes circulated featuring pictures of Taylor during a period when she struggled with an eating disorder, juxtaposed with images of her boyfriend's ex highlighting her voluptuous figure. These memes cruelly speculated about Taylor's boyfriend's happiness, suggesting dissatisfaction with his current relationship based on these superficial comparisons. Such comparisons are not only unfair but also harmful, as they perpetuate a cycle of judgment and hostility. This incident highlights the challenges celebrities face, as they are often subjected to relentless scrutiny and online attacks. But how can Taylor rise above this? Understanding the root of online attacks against Taylor, an attack is always a cry for help, a misguided plea for love, peace and happiness. Trolls, in their relentless pursuit of attention, often engage in shaming, blaming, shouting, accusing, judging, punishing or even sarcasm. These behaviors, though hurtful, are expressions of uncontrolled egoic pain. When individuals feel unseen, unloved or disconnected, they may resort to attacking others to mask their own suffering. Comparing Taylor Swift's body to a more voluptuous body type reflects a societal obsession with physical appearance as a measure of worth. However, true worth is not defined by one's body. Even the most beautiful women will eventually age, and relying on beauty for validation is fleeting and ultimately unfulfilling. The ego and its uncontrolled pain. The ego, our sense of self, thrives on validation and recognition. When it feels threatened or neglected, it lashes out in an attempt to reassert its importance. This uncontrolled egoic pain manifests as aggression towards others, often those who are in the public eye, like Taylor Swift. By bringing someone else down, trolls momentarily elevate their own sense of worth, even though this sense of superiority is fleeting and hollow. The misguided plea for love. At the heart of every attack is a deep-seated need for love and acceptance. Trolls, in their negative comments and comparisons, are essentially crying out for attention. They seek to fill a void within themselves by projecting their pain onto others. This misguided plea for love is a reflection of their own struggles and insecurities. The act of comparing Taylor Swift's body to a more voluptuous one, for instance, is not truly about Taylor or her appearance. Instead, it's a desperate attempt to seek validation and worth by diminishing someone else's value. This behavior stems from a place of feeling unseen and unloved. The troll's actions reveal a paradoxical cry for the very love and acceptance they deny others. Their relentless pursuit of recognition, even through negative means, underscores a profound emptiness. They believe that by drawing attention to someone else's perceived flaws, they can momentarily distract from their own feelings of inadequacy. However, this approach is inherently flawed, as true self-worth cannot be built on the foundation of tearing others down. In a world that often equates worth with physical appearance, the troll's comments about body image also highlight societal pressures. By attacking Taylor Swift's body, they perpetuate a narrow and harmful standard of beauty, seeking to align themselves with it to feel accepted. Yet, this only deepens their internal struggle as they remain trapped in a cycle of seeking external validation. Understanding this dynamic shifts the perspective from condemnation to compassion. Recognizing that these attacks are not about the victim, but about the attacker's unfulfilled need for love, 
How can Taylor view the trolls? The call for love idea reframes our understanding of attacks. When we are attacked, we typically see ourselves as the victims in need because something has been taken from us, leaving us feeling diminished. This perspective leads to condemnation of the attacker. However, the call for love suggests that it is actually the attacker who is in need. The attacker has gained nothing of real value and, in the process, has lost their sense of innocence and peace of mind. Meanwhile, we remain invulnerable because nothing real has been taken from us. Therefore, despite appearances, it is the attacker who is truly in need of love and compassion. Taylor's switch of perspective. Addressing the issue of online trolling requires a shift in perspective. We must recognize that those who attack others are often suffering themselves. By approaching these situations with compassion and understanding, we can begin to break the cycle of negativity. Instead of responding with anger or retaliation, we can choose empathy and support. Conclusion Turning pain into positivity Taylor Swift's experience with online trolls serves as a reminder of the pain that often lies beneath acts of aggression. By understanding that attacks are a cry for love, we can approach these situations with greater empathy. Through compassion and a commitment to positive change, we can transform the digital landscape into a space where everyone feels valued and loved. In the end, the journey to a kinder, more loving online community begins with each of us. Let us choose to spread love, understanding and support, turning the tide against negativity and creating a brighter future for all.